this lesson, we're going to learn about multi-leaders, how to add and manage multi-leaders and multi-leader styles in your drawing. Looking at this example, we can see some basic multi-leaders created using a variety of different options. These are all on the, the text typical multi-leader style. And as you progress through this lesson, you're going to create these multi-leaders on different styles and uh, even adjust and modify specific properties on some multi-leaders. So moving over into the drawing to the right, again, more examples of multi-leaders. These happen to be on a different style, so they have a slightly different appearance, specifically the leader angles or restricted to 45 degrees. And then as you progress through the lesson, you're going to create more advanced multi-leaders to include uh, multi-leaders with spline-shaped uh, leader lines, as well as multi-leaders that use attributes. You'll have an opportunity to change the styles of multi-leaders. So for example, you can, using the quad cursor, we can adjust the style of this multi-leader. and do the same thing on the one next to it. So in this lesson, you're basically going to explore different options of creating and managing multi-leaders. After watching this video, take a look at the written documentation available to you throughout this e-learning course, where you'll find great reference material as well as performance support. And in addition, all of our lessons contain step action tables for step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete the exercise. Okay, before we jump into the next lesson, let's go ahead and cover a quick tip on UI customization. We want to customize our current list uh, on the Entity Properties toolbar to include one for multi-leaders. So I'm going to select the Customize button and then scroll down and find the Entity Properties toolbar. And you'll notice the color line type and line weight controls. Those represent what you currently see above the dialog box on that toolbar. Now, if we scroll down on the right side of the toolbar, we can select the M leader style control and drag that up to the entity properties toolbar. Next, I'm going to click OK. And now we can see the M leader style control has been added to the entity properties toolbar. Let's jump into multi-leaders in BricsCAD. The first thing that we want to spend a few moments talking about are the multi-leader styles. So in the Drawing Explorer here we can see we've got several multi-leader styles already created. Each multi-leader style can be edited or changed for settings specific to the content, which is the text that appears next to the leader and you can also adjust the properties for the leader line and arrow itself. Moving back over to the grid area, we can make a leader style current by selecting the current column. So having done that, we're going to go ahead and create our first set of multi-leaders. Before doing so, I'm going to turn on my dimensions toolbar for quicker access to the multi-leader command. I'm going to begin by selecting the multi-leader command and selecting a nearest point here, dragging to the next location for the leader, and then entering the text as required for the note. Left click in the drawing to complete the command. And then we'll repeat the command and select a different area on the drawing and essentially add the same type of note.
in left clicking in the drawing completes the command. And let's continue to create these types of multi leaders. This time I'm going to use the leader landing first option. And now I'm going to select the point for my landing first, then select the point for the leader, followed by the content for the note, and again left click. So that's just a different option or an order in which the leaders can be created. Switching back to the default leader arrowhead first option. We'll go ahead and add another standard note. Again, notice how we're back using that option, leader arrow first. Here I'm simply dragging to determine the width of my text or the content area of my note. In left clicking completes the command and we're going to return to the M leader style command and make a different style current. So the next leader style we want to make current is the text leader 45 and we're going to pan over to the right a bit and begin to create some additional leaders on this drawing. So selecting the multi leader command again on the dimension toolbar. Now when I select the point, you'll notice that the leader line is restricted to 45 degree increments. So I'm going to click the second point for the leader and then enter in the text for the leader's content or leader note and left click completes the command. Let's go ahead and create another leader note using the same style. Again, notice the 45 degree restriction on the leader line. We'll enter the content for the note and again left click anywhere in the drawing window. We're going to return to the Drawing Explorer and this time we'll make the text spline leader the current leader or multi-leader style. Moving in to the right side of the drawing, we're going to start the leader command again. This time, as we define points for the spline, you simply left click various points in the drawing window. Right click when done selecting points. Here we're going to enter the information for our leader note. And click and drag to adjust the width of the content area and left click outside of the note to complete the command. Okay, returning to the Drawing Explorer, we're going to this time set the multi-leader style keynote as the current style, close the dialog box, and then we'll zoom in to the top right corner of the drawing and add yet another multi-leader. Notice the content area is ready to accept information for an attribute. In this case, the Edit Attributes dialog box appears, so I'm going to enter the value there. Now, that dialog box appeared because my ATTDIA system variable was currently set to 1 or on. Setting it to 0 will prevent that dialog box from appearing and then I can just answer the question for the tag number on the command line. So in this case 2 and press enter you'll notice the dialog box didn't appear. Next we'll create another one this time making it a point to uh, place the tag very close to the drawing. You'll notice that because of this proximity the arrowhead was not drawn. Let's go ahead and use the add multi-leader option. So what this is going to do is add a leader to an existing multi-leader. Select the points then right click when you're done. This particular leader we're going to use to adjust the properties 
So if I scroll down and locate under right attachment, we want to set this to middle of bottom line. And you can then see the effect that it has had on the leader. So as we zoom into the content area of the leader, we can see that the location of the content or the note and how it aligns to the leader line has indeed changed from that property setting. One more leader we want to edit. This time we're going to change the arrowhead associated with this leader using the properties palette. I can simply select a different leader arrow for this particular multi-leader. We'll change it to dot and you'll notice the effect it has immediately. This completes our lesson on multi-leaders in BricsCAD.